Hello, my beautiful warriors of the light. This is going to be my new thing. I'm going to ask you the same question every Friday. Do you feel like a warrior? Or do you feel like a warrior? I got to tell you, I get to this point, usually about this time of the year, where I'm so tired of being cold. I'm tired of all the snow. I'm tired of shoveling. It just feels so heavy. Um, yeah, cold. I know we're supposed to use this time to go inward. And I just get to this point where it's like, okay, I'm done now. I want to be outside. I want to be in the sunshine. I want to feel warm. I want it to be warm in my house. My house is 132 years old. It's not always very warm. Um, let's just say it's not very energy efficient. Um, but I have lots of blankies. Um, so are you are you at that point too? I've already bought my seeds for um, all the veggies that I'm going to grow. I've bought um, things for my greenhouse. I'm like, come on, come on spring. I know that the um, spring equinox isn't for another month almost. But do you feel like this? One of the things about this time of the year, you know, I've talked about the bear in the cave and the caterpillar in the cocoon. It's like you get this itch, you wanna get out. Now is the time to prepare. This is prepare mode. Um, the warriors prepare to go into battle, right? They, they psych themselves up, they put on the appropriate underclothing, then they put on their regular clothing and they put on their armor, they get their horse ready or whatever it is that they're um, taking into battle. They get all their armaments ready. They're sharpening up their spears and their swords and they're, and they're gathering ammo. They're preparing for battle. And that's kind of what we need to be doing right now. Hopefully you've used this um, part of the winter, this part of the year to recharge your batteries, just, you know, get some needed rest because now is the time that we should be charging up, okay? We should be honing those healing skills. We should be honing our compassion and our loves and our nurturing skills because stuff's gonna be happening this year and we, the warriors of the light, need to be present we need to be present with all of our skills and abilities so that we can help those that are maybe on the front lines. Warriors of the light sometimes are on the front lines, but sometimes there's those of us who are, um, we like do the triage later or we're the healers later. We help those who went through the battle. Okay, not everybody's on the front line. So when I say, do you feel like a warrior? It doesn't mean you're on the front line or you're going to be on the front line. Sometimes um, we're the ones in the background that are providing the space for the warriors on the front line. That's what I feel like I am. I don't feel like I'm supposed to be on the front lines. I feel like I'm the one of the people that's supposed to help charge those people up. And then when they're done and they come back, I'm one of the ones that's supposed to help them heal after they've been through whatever they've been through. Is that how you feel? I mean, there's different kinds of warriors. Not all warriors are on the front line. But my whole point is now is the time we're supposed to be charging up. If you've got that feeling like I just want to be outside, I just want to start doing stuff, take a deep breath. <sighs> Find your still point, find your center. And, you know, if you're not sure what you're supposed to be doing, maybe you want to sit down, write a list of all the things that you're really, really good at. Those are the things that you're supposed to be doing. The things that you're passionate about. I love helping people. There, um, There's an event that's started recently in our country. I'm going to be really careful on how I word this. Um, you know, there's a movement going across the country. And am I gonna go participate and watch that? Oh, heck yeah. I'm gonna be a warrior and I'm gonna be out there 
doing what I can and sending healing energy to all these vehicles, to all the people driving the vehicles, to all the people present in the vehicles, to all the people present um, all across the country. That is how I'm going to be a warrior in this thing because we need people doing this as well, not just the people driving. I know you get what I'm saying. All right. Can you tell I'm charged up today? I just had a really good workout. So I'm like, yeah, let's do this. I also know I got to charge up my batteries. I got to prepare. Now, what does it mean to prepare? It means different things to different people. Like I said, maybe it's honing your skills. If you haven't done Reiki in a while, start doing Reiki because you can help your neighbors, your family members, strangers. And when you do some kind of energy healing, not just for yourself, but not just for your loved ones, but for the whole world, guess what? You are making the world a better place. And that includes healing of plants and trees and mother earth and the flying things and the crawling things and the slithering things and the running things. Send healing to the sun and the moon. Send healing to the water and the air. Okay. Everyone and everything needs healing. Whatever your specialty is, start doing that. Um, if it's making jewelry with intention and that the intention is whoever wears, let's say this bracelet, whoever wears this bracelet will receive, you know, unconditional love of the creator and, and spiritual guidance and, you know, whatever your intention is, do that. We're all here to do different things but with the same end point or end goal to make this a better place, right? That's what warriors of the light do. That's what star seeds do. That's what empaths do. This is what we're supposed to do. Make the world a better place. So however you do that, start preparing, whatever that means to you. Okay. All right. Today we have a card. Actually, we have two cards from the spirit of the wheel deck. So I asked for a card and I looked at it and I went, yeah, that's, I want a different card. And I got a second card and inside my head, it was, this isn't instead of, this is in addition to. So we get two cards today. And the first card that popped out, and they literally, both of these popped out of the deck, is card number 24. Two plus four is a six. Six is a love number. Okay, in the major arcana, this is this is love. And it's the harvest moon. Now, what's interesting is harvest moon, wait a minute. That should be end of summer, beginning of fall. Um, but then I read the key words on the card and it says turning point, preparation, and gathering. And it made me go, wait, what? not just harvest the food, gathering the bounty of all the hard work. This is preparation, which is exactly what I was going to talk about, which is what I did just talk about. Preparation and a turning point. This is really important because we, as a collective, are at a turning point in the history of humankind. And that's why all of us warriors are here. We wanted front row seats for this turning point of humankind. So the book says, you may need to gather knowledge, courage, or even rest for the road ahead. Then begin preparations so you won't be caught off guard by the changes coming your way. It is all part of your personal evolution. And I just want to add collective evolution as well. Um, those born under the harvest moon are very good at looking after others, but tend to deny their own needs. Now the harvest moon is generally August 23 through September 22. That would be my son. Hey, Alex. Prepare your own way for if you use all your energy helping others, you will be facing a dry well. And how many times have I said this, that here's our cup, 
We share what overflows from our cup. We do not run our cup dry, okay? We need to fill that cup. We need to keep that cup full. We need to make it overflow. And then we share what overflows with others, making sure that our cup is always full for us. Because if my cup is empty, I can't help you, right? We don't want an empty cup. Enjoy the fruits of this bountiful time and gather up what you will need for your future. Gather up what you will need for your future. Whatever that means to you. It doesn't mean run out to the store and hoard all kinds of stuff, okay? If you don't feel in your guts that that's what you're supposed to do, then don't do that. If you know that spirit, God, creator, source has your back, you don't need to do that. The prayer that goes with this card says, Great Spirit, thank you for the gifts I receive in my life. I take this time to gather up what I need to prepare for the changes to come. Now that can also be, I gather up what my family needs or what my community needs. So there's no ego involved here. And I can't ever say that enough. We don't just push that ego aside. Um, but I need to gather what's important to me and to my loved ones. So if you are at the store and let's say they have a sale on something that you need, maybe instead of buying one, you buy two because somebody might come along and say, Hey, you know what? I'm really, you know, I'm having a rough time. I could really use whatever. And you can go, I bought this for you. How cool is that? I have an extra. You're welcome. And that makes your heart feel amazing when you can share something like that. So the other card that popped out is the long snows moon, which I have to laugh because what was I leading this video with? I'm tired of the snow. I'm tired of the cold. Here's the long snows moon. And this just puts it into so much perspective for me. Yeah, long snow. Okay, long snow and you know what here? Tall snow. It's gotten to the point that in some of the parts of my yard, I can't shovel it up that high anymore. <laughs> so I will literally turn around and walk that way and put it on a mountain that's smaller. So the keywords on this one are contemplation, messages, and deliberation. And this is card number 27, which is a nine. Two plus seven is nine. Nine is a completion of a cycle. It is um, being done with something. Could be a relationship. It could be done with the, all the super cold. Man, the weather report says it's going to be in the 20s next week. And I'm doing my happy dance because I can handle 20s. I'm tired of 20 below. I know a lot of people are. And for those of you that have snowmobiles and and all the fun stuff that you do outside and your heated underwear and whatever. You know what? You go have fun with that. I'm going to sit inside with a cup of hot chocolate or a cup of hot tea and I'm going to watch you through the window because I don't have heated underwear. But then I don't need it if I'm inside. All right. <laughs> Long Snow's Moon. Card number 27. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Make an art out of everything you do by living for the present moment. When approached with a loving mind, things that you thought of as burdens can become blessings. Now, we just got a whole bunch of snow. We, we've had a couple blizzards in the last week. I looked at all that snow at the time as the best workout ever. I did. I would go out, I can be out there between 45 and 55 minutes before my, my toes and fingers get cold because I don't have heated socks or, or gloves. Um, and I can shovel and I power shovel and I love it. I'm one of those people where when I work out, I get high as a kite and when I shovel, same thing. So some people will ask me, well, why don't you get a snowblower? Because I actually like exercise. And the only thing I don't like is breathing in the noxious fumes from all the exhaust because I'm right on Main Street. But you know what? I just put something over my 
face and put on my Grinch hat and I'm out there. I look like a total dork and it's on purpose because I want to make somebody smile when they're driving by. And if I can do that, it makes my day. But what a great exercise. When you power shovel, it is a full body exercise. So I didn't look at it as a burden. I just looked at it as an outdoor gym. And we can take everything in our lives and flip it around and find that silver lining in it. Um, there's always something like back in the day when I told my car, I really didn't like that car anyway. It gave me the opportunity to get a car that I actually liked. So, you know, you can always turn things around. Plus, you know, I lived through it. Unscathed, except for, you know, I killed one of my spirit animal guides, but it wasn't my fault. Um, so the messages you receive from spirit right now feel like long lost pieces of a puzzle coming together. I don't know about you, but I've been getting lots of messages about things from my past. And it's like, whoa, oh my gosh, that piece goes here and that makes this area make so much more sense. Or why this person and I have this kind of relationship um, makes more sense because now I'm getting some missing pieces. Um, things from, you know, my, my parents and my brother and, and events back in fourth grade all of a sudden are making sense because there's this clarity coming in and I'm not even asking for it. Um, but my higher self says, yeah, you're ready for it now. Um, the gift of the long snows moon is a slower pace that allows you to weed out the trivial details and recognize what is truly important. And that's that going inside of ourselves. I should have done these cards reversed. The long snows moon is about going inside of ourselves. It's the bear in the cave. It's the caterpillar in the cocoon. We go inside ourselves, we figure stuff out and then we let it go. This last full moon that we had was the throwing away moon. Some people call it the snow moon. Um, the Ojibwe call it the throwing away moon. We throw away all that stuff we do not need because we've contemplated everything. We've now we're throwing it away so that we're lighter when the spring equinox happens. And we need to be lighter for spring. Think about spring. We've got all this new growth. We've got buds on the trees. We've got little plants coming up. We've got babies being born. And I mean in the animal world. Um, it's beautiful and light. It's light. You can just feel the lightness. But in order for us to get there, we have to let crap go, right? So do your contemplating, go inside yourself, know that you're not going to be a caterpillar forever. You are going to come out and be a butterfly. Know that you're not going to be that bear in the cave forever. You are going to come out and be a bear outside. And know that you're lighter. Think about that bear, okay? I know I talk about bears a lot. And uh, Misko, I'm not talking about you. <laughs> so I'm talking about bears in general. But think about the bear. The bear eats a whole bunch before the bear goes in the cave. The bear hibernates. And the body of the bear is fine because it's got all that um, insulation built up so that it can be in the cave and hibernate. It comes out, it's lost a bunch of weight, but you know what? It's fine because it's like, now I get to start over. Um, we're the same way. It doesn't mean you should eat a whole bunch. Although, you know, Thanksgiving and Christmas, we kind of do. I mean, a lot of us do. Um, and Hanukkah. Um, but we do tend to put on weight, it's, at least in the Great White North, we do tend to put on weight in the winter because um, it's winter, and it's cold outside, and hey, yeah, I'm going to have a steak <laughs> or whatever. For me, it's brisket. Bacon. I'm going to eat lots of bacon um, and chocolate. But then in springtime, it is time to drop all that stuff. Now, that's physical weight, okay? It's time to get on the treadmill. If you can't go outside and do stuff, get on the treadmill. Um, 
you know, if you want to lift weights, you don't have to go buy stuff. A jug of water, a gallon of water weighs about eight pounds. One in each hand. There you go. You got weights. We have no excuses. I know. I come up with all kinds of them. Um, but it's time to shed physical energy. It's time to shed emotional energy, emotional stuff that we don't need anymore going forward. Shed all that stuff. Get rid of it. Throw it out. Say, you know what? I recognize you, trauma, but I don't need you anymore. Take a hike. I love you. Bye-bye. Shed spiritual energies that you don't need. Now, I'm not talking about getting rid of grandma's spirit, okay? I'm talking about those low frequency energies. The low frequency energies that maybe are hanging out in your house. So it's a good time to smudge. Smudge yourself, smudge your house. Um, selenite, black tourmaline, use things like that. Um, I can't stress how wonderful selenite is for pets. Our pets absorb people's energy. So Althea, who's laying right there on the floor, she absorbs energy from every single person that comes into this shop. That's a lot of people's energy. And I have a special selenite wand that I use on her and I just, I take it and I'm doing a prayer while I'm doing it and I'm removing everybody else's energy off of her. And she knows as soon as everything's gone, she will just walk away. But while I'm doing it, she knows exactly what I'm doing. She will just stand there perfectly still. She doesn't stand perfectly still for anything like that except for the selenite because she knows she's going to feel better. She's going to feel lighter. And this is what we all need to be doing. We all need to be getting rid of this stuff that's built up, not just over the winter, not just in this lifetime, but in all lifetimes. If you have this irrational fear of water, get rid of it. If you have a fear of heights, get rid of it. If you have a fear of relationships, get rid of it. All this low frequency stuff, you don't need, okay? So let's be that bear that's coming out of the cave. Let's be that flower that's pushing up through the ground. Let's be that butterfly that is coming out of the cocoon. Right now is the time to prepare. You're going to be coming out pretty soon. So figure out what you need to do. Figure out how you can make the world a better place because this is why we're all here, okay? We are here to make this world a better place and it starts with us. I can change me and you can change you. Pass it on. Thank you everybody. I love you guys. I hope you have a freaking awesome day today. I send you blessings of love, light, peace, joy, happiness, success, divine health, and all good things because you are worthy and you deserve all good things. Mwah. I love you.